What's up guys, CJ here, and welcome back to another all-new Star Trek Discovery video. One of the things about the series that fans, hardcore and casual alike, are a little bit concerned about is kind of surprising. The ship itself. The USS Discovery NCC-1031 has received a lot of flack for various reasons, chiefly among them the design. As the new show is set in 2255, just 10 years before Kirk's five-year mission began in 2265, you might assume Discovery's design would more closely resemble the Enterprise, or even just generally the designs of ships from that time period. Especially when you consider that in the original series, Kirk was actually the third captain of the Enterprise, which was first launched in 2245, 10 years before the events of the new show. So instead, Discovery might actually be one of the most visually unique Federation ships we've ever seen, with a noticeable wide wedge connecting the low-slung nacelles with the saucer. As a whole, the ship is noticeably compact and squat when compared to the Enterprise, which was longer, smoother, and generally a little more aerodynamic looking, but both seem to be roughly the same size, with some unofficial estimates putting Discovery at around 250 meters long to the Enterprise at 288. It also kind of not so subtly looks a lot like a Klingon D7 battlecruiser, with the sharp edges and that wedge connecting the engines to the front of the ship, which is kind of ironic since the Klingon are set up to be the primary antagonists of the series, so I kind of hope those similarities are mentioned at some point during the course of the show. As for some technical specs, we don't have any official blueprints or numbers as of yet, but there are a few things that we might be able to assume, given the show's place in the timeline, and the fact specifically that this show is not set in line with the new Trek reboots, and in fact is set in the original Prime Universe. Given the shared technology of the time, and the fact that the size of the ship is kind of similar to the Enterprise, we can assume the ship probably carries a crew of somewhere right around 400, or slightly less than that of the Enterprise, which topped out at about 430. We can also probably assume that the types of weapons we'll be seeing in the show are probably similar. Judging the exact weapons loadout and top speed of the ship solely based off of the Enterprise's specs might be a little facetious for another reason. That reason is that if you look at the design, we can kind of assume that the Discovery isn't a new ship, and this is kind of backed up by just taking a look at the nacelles, specifically that they have three Bassard collectors as opposed to the one that the Enterprise has later. This either suggests that they're less efficient than the Enterprise's Bassard collectors, or that more are needed, but since the Enterprise was top of the line, it's safe to assume the former rather than the latter. Which would explain why more are needed on the Discovery, which only really makes sense if the Enterprise is still the newer ship out of the two. If Discovery was built before 2045, that would potentially explain its relatively unique design compared to newer ships like the Enterprise and even the Shenzhou, the other ship featured in trailers for the new series. This theory, though, kind of comes into question as Gabriel Lorca, captain of the Discovery, tells Burnham that they're inventing a new way to fly, which might indicate that rather than just being an older ship, Discovery is a newer prototype of some sort. So let me know what you think of my little theory and what you think about the specs of the Discovery that we have so far. I know it's kind of hard to break down the specific specs when, well, we don't have any of the specifics, but that'll just have to be another video for another time. That's gonna do it for me here though, thanks for watching, don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw, subscribe for more great content every single day, and consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.